welcome to the brew. Tonight's your host star, Miss Baby Doll and Nurse Patty is we in, got the in the house. In the house. She's in the house and she in gives the house. a whole surprise. And myself, TJ, and our producer, John. You are all listening to us on TIBN, Truckers International. Truckers International. <laughs> Oh my God! It's gonna be fun. Tonight. It's gonna be a long it's night. Oh God! We'll be writing music. Truck, yes, Truckers <laughs> Independent Broadcasting Network. Thank you for joining. We hope you all have a good time with the show because it's gonna be kind of funny. Because you know, we're both in. Well, all three of us are in strange moods, and all three of us are in the house. That might not work out too well for people yeah, listening yeah. because sometimes yeah. when we get together, yeah. we just don't know what's going to come out of our face. Oh, nope, that's it can right. Be bad. Oh, or what I mean, comes out during the day. What comes out during <laughs> the day? I'm so bored. <laughs> okay. But before we get started, please take a look at these other websites besides um, TIBN. We'd love to have you look on our website. There's always stuff going on. Um, tonight, we support the following, obviously, Tough, which is Truckers United for Freedom. They've been around for a really long time now. In fact, I'm kind of sick of those guys. <laughs> I thought that was good. <laughs> He's going to kill me. <laughs> Sovereign Roads, that's our friend Ron and all his people over there. We wish all you a good night. Truckers for Vets, you can get, if you need more information on that, you can call Joe Beretta. Truckers for Christ. Uh, with Steven and those boys, Truckers Back the Blue, Trucks with Room to Spare, Truckers Final Mile, um, Real Woman in Trucking, and we also support She Trucking, even though we don't hear a lot from them, but we really support those ladies over there because they really do a great job getting more women in the industry and helping out everybody. So I just give them a lot of kudos. And of course, Desiree at Real Woman in Trucking has done so much and check out their websites people because you'd be surprised you guys out there check out those women's sites because you'd be surprised how far they have gotten we're very proud of all of them <coughs> and once again you can find us on youtube speaker and twitter and please hit the like button every now and then but if you don't i don't care you can share up that's awesome if you don't that's fine too because we're just going to do what we want to do anyways but we have some um some news we're going to do the truckers news first because there's been a lot going on in the truckers, okay? <sighs> As you all know, I mean, you probably don't know, if you haven't, I don't know if I can put this up, uh, Mary Joshery is named as Biden's pick for the top spot at the FFs. you have yours over there? Mm -mm. At the oh, FMSCA. She was officially announced April 14th, and, she, and, and she's been nominated. So she will serve as the agency's deputy administrator and senior official since January. Um, there's a whole big biography on her. Eh, I don't feel like reading it all. But look her up. Take your time looking at it. I just don't feel like reading all that. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> they the already kind of know it. about the shit. I promise you, it's probably all over yeah, Facebook. Who knows? <laughs> but you never know because people always say, Who's this? Who's, Who's this? Who's that? Who's this? If you really yeah. want to know, let me know and I'll uh, call you. Hey, Christy. Hey, Joe. Glad to see and you. And you can always go to Baby Doll hey, page children. and find all yep. that news. <laughs> Oh my God! You're right. Don't want to make up for good tonight. Hey Jess, I was too busy writing a song oh, to put my makeup on. <laughs> Thank you, Jess, for joining us. The other news tonight is um, truck parking, as you all know, is a major problem, and now cities are being asked to look, actually, they're really actually getting on the ball on this. I think Jedi wants to speak. He does. He does. Hi. And Hi. now cities are being asked to look at available space and consider using it for truck parking. The National League of Cities make up cities' leaders from across this country made the request of its members early in April, so this past April. It suggested looking at several parking areas that could be repurposed, including, and not limited to, excess airport parking, city owner staging areas like ports, rail yards, and other major businesses, Oops, stadium parking, government Oops, building lots, baby. transit or maintenance yards, major shopping malls, government-owned sites waiting for development, and warehouses and other major shipping receiving pressure points. Yeah. It reminds members that all federal grants are available for use towards truck parking, and there's more legislation, legislation for this problem. So as we speak, they're actually taking heed to some of the things we said, and that goes on to like three pages. No, nope, not reading those either. <laughs> you guys can look that up. Yep. I'm just giving you the gist. Hopefully some of you guys will ponder that and, and be interested. But now this is kind of interesting because as you guys know, 
Oil, so, um, oil diesel prices, they're, they're went really up, but they're expected to stabilize to pre-COVID levels. So that's going to be... What the hell is pre-COVID levels? I don't know. Well, how, fuel's going we have what? pre-COVID. Right. We have pre-COVID. pre-COVID levels. We have right. COVID, and now we're going to have post-COVID. So yep. pre-COVID. So hell? if you're paying four right. ninety five or whatever, right. I'm not reading all this. <laughs> I'm just can, curious right. what if, if you, pre-COVID fuel prices well, are. Well, that was before the COVID came out and well, I know, us I know, well, in uh, November of 2019, I know gas was 181 a gallon. Yes. Yes. I don't remember so, diesel. So I'm just saying, so it's if like you were paying $4 a gallon, cents. yeah, you oh, might be going back to $2 a lot less than whatever. it is now. Yeah. So guys, keep a good, keep a good mark on that, really. Take a good look and make sure you're getting your, your fuel prices that's coming down. Right. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask somebody oh. for a discount. I know men are afraid to ask for discounts. Not me. I always say, what can I have for free? Yeah. Sometimes it's only a candy bar, but hey, yeah, free is free. Hey, 10% right. is 10%. Are you kidding? Right. I just said free is free. It has to have free. It has, for me, has to have the word free right. in it. Right, if you right. fuel at Love's, you can uh, get the Love's car and the fuel cards and get all oh. kind of oh, we're points gonna get and to make Love's all kind of money. In a minute. You know, um, right now, drivers are attracted by high rates, trucker shift to the spot market. Okay. With truckloads rate, rates that had, had historic highs, most carriers made their equipment available on the spot market last week, according to DAT, Freight, and Analytics, which operates the industry's largest low board network. So in January, a reefer was making 261 a mile, and April up to 297. A flatbed was making 249, up to 288. In January, a van was making 236, and now it's up to 266, heading up to 286 a mile. I hey, don't, I well, don't, that's I, pretty don't good. I, I they, don't know. I think they should make more than that. Though. I know. I know. They should at least be making three or four bucks you know, a mile. You know, your van lands to watch, lands to watch, or is Los Angeles to stock them, or they're averaging three point seven, three dollars and seven nine cents a mile, up 11 cents over the previous week. In Los Angeles, capacity remains high due to tight, high volumes from the port of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Um, I'd be careful what, if I pull in a van, I'd be careful what's in there, I'll tell you. Yeah. Reefer volume slide on major lanes. So, the number of loads moved on DAT's top 72 reefer lanes by volume declined 2.5% compared to the previous week, although average spot rate edged higher on 38 of the lanes and was neutral on 13. Florida's reefer demand is rising. Refrigerated Damn. is high in demand in Florida. My aunt, Miami outbound reefer loads average 2.86, 2.86 a mile, about <laughs> 15 cents compared to the previous week. Well, I know. Why well, like an average two? Well, you can tell she ain't chucked for a long time. You can't help her. You know, that's the thing. Centuries. You know, you can't. I know. Put your Entire, fingers under my mouth. I know. I mean, really, I Get her teeth back. Yeah. I know. <laughs> California remained a hotbed for outbound loads, with Ontario to Phoenix up 20 cents of an average of $4.49 a mile, and Ontario stock them up 14 to 3 a day now. Flatbed volumes level off, but capacity stays tight. So freight is moving, people, and you know when freight moves, drivers get complacent. Money, money, money. Okay, and I hate to good. say that, but drivers get complacent. They're out making money. They're I know. Not, they not. go out and buy brand new trucks and all this shit, and then yeah, the next year, yeah. Yeah. Well, you lose so it all. That. We're all working so hard to, oh, to, to get to get this economy. Uh, I mean, to get the things that drivers yeah, really need. Right. You know, we're still like like um, like Desiree. We're all still working in the government. John's still working with everybody mm-hmm. in the government. And what happens is freight's high. Nobody's interested. But when freight sink low... Oh, whoa, whoa, with us. Guys, pull your pants up and stay with the game, okay? <laughs> I mean, really, what do you want me to say? They don't. They put their pants down, they're making money, they feel good, right. so who cares? Yeah. Right. Am I right? Uh-huh. I, if, I, if I'm no. wrong out there, right. somebody let me know that uh-huh. I'm wrong, okay? Right. Com- I will argue with you. Complacency is like uh, karma and mother nature. They'll karma come back and, and bite nature. you in the ass. So every I think time. What we yeah. say down in the south is we call it dirty rich. I, I, I had to change the word. Yeah, okay. we have another word we call it, but I'm saying dirty okay, rich, yeah. not anything else. Okay, <laughs> we're not going there. Nope. I'll, I'll have to slap you. I wouldn't dare. I'll it's 2021. Look at, we'll my, censor you. If you can't see this, but we have oh. little Jedi with us tonight. Yep. I don't yep. think you can see him in the camera. 
Can you see him in the camera? Can you see him? We need to get John to put a bleep, bleep, hey, bleep, baby. bleep, bleep. Hey, baby. Ooh, Hell, we'd never have a show so if he did I'm that. Sorry, I'm sorry, Jedi. Jedi is our mascot. Yep. He is he such is. a cute little muffin. Mm -hmm. He's he had is. some troubles this past week, but hopefully he's getting past yeah. it a little bit. Yeah. My next thing was Love's Truck Care. Speak of Love's Truck Care, Speak Co. offering half price DOT inspections, free tire checks to help drivers prep for the international road check. And Oklahoma City came out with from April 26th through May 6th. Professional drivers can receive free tire pass inspections Ooh. and half price deposit of the DOT inspections at more than 350 Loves, Loves nice. Truck Care, and Speed Co. location. During this tri time, drivers can also get a complimentary visual inspection with a purchase of any truck care service. Nice. Loves Truck Care and Speed Car offering these specials to help drivers prepare for the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance mm -hmm. 2021 International Road Check. I hate those damn road checks. Yeah, but Loves is, I'm, I'm glad drivers they're stepping can, up. They know that it's important to professional truck drivers, so by having the tire pass inspection completed while they, fleet, while they fuel up, can save time and be prepared for this year's CVS Road Check. Right. Okay. Yep. He uh, said Gary Price, who is the executive president of Trucks Care for Loves. The CVSA International Road Check will take place May 4th through the 6th. Inspectors will be out across North America inspecting commercial motor vehicles and drivers. Oh, what's, yep. the, what's the check for the drivers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I never got no yeah. check. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got it. checked, but it wasn't that kind. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the road check is the largest targeted enforcement program on commercial motor vehicles in the world, with nearly 15 trucks of buses inspected every minute across 15 or 16 buses inspected every minute. Holy crap. Across oh, no. North America. The, the focus on this year's road check is ours. Of hours of service and light lighting. What's lighting? Oh, I know what you mean. Okay. Tire related <laughs> issues tend to be at the top of the list for placing drivers out of service. Using Love's <laughs> Tire Pass, a tire inflation and assessment service can ensure potential tire related compliance. Violations are addressed before professional drivers roll up to an inspection. Tire Pass is available on the inside diesel lane at Love's Travel Stops and inside some truck care and speed co locations. According to CVSA, during the 2020 International Road Track, out of approximately 3.3 million inspectors inspections conducted, 944,000 driver violations were discovered. So guys, pull in, get inspected, yeah. do the right thing, so you're not pissing and moaning the next day that, you know, oh, that guy screwed me. No, you screwed yourself because yeah. you got plenty of warning, all right? Yeah, that's right. We the witches yep. told you told where to you. go to get it done. That's right. So right. get over there. I mean, if they're giving it for free, what the hell? Right. I mean, and free. why are you fuel? So Once again, why not? Once I mean, again, that four-letter word, free. That's right. Free, free, free. free. Yeah. <laughs> and it says loves. Free yeah. loves. loves. <laughs> Now, if we were back in the late 60s, early 70s, like oh, some God. of us remember, that would free be. love. That's right. Yeah. And remember the old song, ladies? Yep. Oh, yeah. If you can't be with the one you love, love, love the, the one, one you're with. with. Stay tuned. So, <laughs> so give over to Lois. And as you all know, the great city of Portland, yeah. of course, they're all under siege and, you know, they're trying so hard to, to not to be under siege, but, but they're uh -huh. very, but they have decided they're going to be one uh -huh. of the first yeah. um, places yeah. in the automotive industry mm -hmm. to accelerate the delivery of electrified truck models. Oh. So they're going to start putting in charging stations for commercial trucks is on the horizon. You can't even give us freaking parking, but you're going right. to make sure we can right. hitch up our electric right. so we can power yep. our vehicles. Uh, I bet you're going to pay will. for it. Y'all you, you remember you know. when we had them auto airs where you, you put the tube in the side of the window and you got cable TV and internet and all that? Y'all stay tuned. It's coming back. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, you can throw that over there, too. Okay. okay. I, I'm just yep. not reading all that crap. Yeah. Nope. No. But in, in, in other serious, this is very serious now. Okay. So y'all uh, better pay okay. attention. All right. Syphilis cases. <laughs> 
Oh, have been contributing to soaring national caseloads of sexually transmitted disease. Now, I'm sure truck drivers out there are not spreading sexually transmitted diseases. No, you know they wear them condoms for the lot lizards. That's right. No, there is no way they don't have a box of condoms. Well, the experts are telling us now, and they're pointing to the advent of dating apps, less condom use, and increased... and an increase in meth. Oh my God! What? So what? they're taking meth and they're out meth? there having sex and spreading syphilis. What the hell, guys? Syphilis can be really bad. There's well, like three to- There's three kinds. Well, at least and it- one of the last one is not curable. Is I, am I right, Miss Patty? I believe so. So yep, if you get correct. it and you bring it home. Well, once, oh, once someone it has- brought that to my house, I'm cutting it. Yeah, you know, it's all. Yeah, it's we're going to do a bobadectomy. Yeah. Yep. So it's not just, even going to be. Just, it's not coming back. Just I, use your no. land and lube you know and your rubber so That's you right. don't bring shit home oh. to your wife. Yeah. Don't even cheat, you bunch of cowards. Yes. Actually, right. there's a plan. You cut it off. Yeah. You got a brook out there. You can float it right down. Oh, there you go. Can I saw yeah. a whole beavers thing down there? Oh, you know, God. they're building a, a dam. Did you see the tree oh. in our backyard? It's yeah. all chewed up like. Oh. Right into a V from a beaver. It's right out there. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, the pretty cool. Bastards. Cool. It's I keep bastards. looking for the beaver, but I ain't found it yet. <laughs> you lost, you lost it. Well, I'll draw a beaver. <laughs> you lost the beaver. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of people looking for the beaver and can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a tough thing to find. Out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's okay. probably, yeah. Serious now, here's another interesting. This oh, is very God. important. White and vangical women are often taught that their calling is to be pa- passive in the church, to be submissive. <laughs> Oh no! You you're to putting passive and submissive <laughs> in the same joking. And I'm telling this. Church. And go, let me finish this. Okay. This is a crack up. Okay. Okay. I'll just have to read this again. <clears throat> Serious. <clears throat> White evangelical women are often taught that their calling is to be passive in the church, to be submissive. <laughs> be submissive to their husbands. <laughs> You know, submissive is not really in the Bible. I'm trying to be serious. Right. Say this seriously. To be submissive to their husbands and to stay out of the pulpit. But historians and a lot of people have wrote Mm. new books on this. Mm -hmm. And they now found out women's historical importance as leaders of the faith have all been but erased. There's a few books get all the way back to the Greeks and the whole nine yard that had more women in them and they have been mm-hmm. women have been erased mm-hmm. so sorry guys women are you very ain't important because you know us. something yep. you all preach this stuff about blah 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 but if it wasn't for right. women none of you little bastards would be able to preach right. amen am I right that's right amen yeah I mean that's a fact we're talking so yeah, most of them can't the even cook yeah. a man here and a woman that's for right. a purpose and it wasn't yeah. to say the man have, that a woman has to be submissive. Because let me tell you, there's a lot of women out there who raise their kids, who do everything on themselves, yeah. and that guy is out there making two other, three other families right. or whatever. So, right. We, we mm-hmm. can go on a whole subject with it. We won't. We'll save and that. We'll really save wanted... that for our Thursday night show. Yeah, We're you might want to go read night. Proverbs 31 because she worked in the field <laughs> and did everything. So, yeah. 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 And, you know, the thing was, do you know, people don't realize, but Margaret, St. Margaret, she was the one who secured all the food for Jesus and his followers. Mm-hmm. That's right. It wasn't John or Joseph. I know. It wasn't Peter or yeah. Paul. Or Matthew wasn't any or of those lazy no. bastards just laying around, <laughs> dipping their bread, have, you know? Yeah. It was the women out there, once That's again, right. trugging along, getting the food. Of I, course. I believe if you put the noose around my own neck, bro, would they be in submissive? Uh, probably not. They're probably telling those bastards <laughs> yep. to go wash their own damn feet. Yep. Okay. More than three months after the U.S. Capitol riot, a bomb maker remains on the loose. Now, you know something? You see all those people out in Portland? You see all those people in Minnesota making bombs and throwing bombs? And, and, and the biggest, the latest thing is you take yep. soup, you freeze it, yep. and they're throwing them at the police officers, and they're throwing them That's at nice. pedestrians that yep. cross the line. They're using yep. soup. And they use frozen water bottles and everything else. So, and you're telling me after all those people that you have incarcerated from January 6th, the so-called terrorist, okay, but not the people that are bombing and setting 
setting the police on fire and everything no. else. And now today, with, with the Chauvin verdict, they actually yep. put yep. Um, yep. barriers all around all the courthouses and everywhere yep. else so they don't get burned down. Right. So, yeah, and you can't find this guy? Come yep. on. Right. Right. You know, and there's been more than 400 yep. people are charged in, gen in this. And the FBI is still looking for the person who placed two explosive devices near the Democrat and Republican National Committee. Oh. But, you know, those weren't the guys that broke into the, to, to the Capitol. These were professional... Uh, maybe, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, but you guys. Oh, I know why. Maybe they. Th but it's a Democrat and Republican. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah, see that, who that could be. Who I doesn't like could... the Democrats or the Republicans? Mm -hmm. It's those damn libertarians. Yeah. <gasps> That's what it right. is. It must be the, damn the libertarians. libertarians. Yeah, must be them. We need new people. Could it be Antifa? Could it be BLM no, protesting? No, no, no. So I'm no, sure it, may, it must no, be. It must be yes. libertarians. Without yeah. a doubt. Yeah. Damn, they're coming after me because you know. Well. Well, maybe it's a constitutionalist. Could be. Well, could be. <gasps> you're right. Your friend. My friend. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to have her back on him. I We're going to have to grill yes. her. Yes. Yeah, yeah. she's getting yeah. grilled. Yes. See what she knows. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh, my goodness. Well, the other thing that came up, you know, there's, there's medical first aid and there's psychological first aid, which is part of what Doctors Without Borders give their patients... Who are? Oh, I lost the rest of it. <laughs> oh, oh, uh -oh. That's it. All right. Just make it up. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> actually, they're giving both out to people because of yes. COVID, and it's been mm -hmm. so hard on everybody. You know. Now, I want everybody to start treading tread lightly. Pel Pelican. Push Peloton push to be called <laughs> exercise machines. I can't talk tonight. You just have to drink all night. I can't. I can't. Jesus. And they say a little set, little exercise won't kill you. <laughs> Peloton, which came under fire for an yep. exercise bike, as many considered sexist a year ago. Okay. How is it sexist? How is Okay, let yeah. me finish this. Oh it's my. now under pressure to recall its treadmill following a death and dozens of injuries. The video's reports of children being sucked under Peloton treadmills are harrowing. Why would you let your kid go near these? Well, yeah. right. I, oh, my well, God. Well, because that requires parenting, which requires work. Another okay. four-letter word. If you're going to swear, you can't be on the show. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, so I'm just saying that parenting is work, and, you know, well, it doesn't happen no, no. a Rep, lot. Rep Janet Wachnoski, <laughs> chair of the U.S. House Subcommittee on Consumer Protection, said yesterday, the company argues the treadmills are safe as long as user guidelines are follow. Peloton no. shares fell 7% and remains to be seen whether the company will, rec will recall the machines. Now, are you right. got to be kidding me? Right. Is this, I mean, like, is there nothing better than that? Right. they got to be kidding me. Exactly. I mean, that's that's just ridiculous. <laughs> it is. It, it is. is. I can see people like me on the machine. I'd be like, <laughs> don't fall down because you ain't getting up. <laughs> You're going to have burnt knees. <laughs> <laughs> You're too short to sit on the damn Quiet. bike anyway. Quiet. You couldn't preach the pedal. Quiet. I'm telling my mother on you. <laughs> Dear mother in heaven, please come down and burn her ass. <laughs> oh, okay. trust me. It's been burnt before. Yeah, oh, yeah we know. <laughs> Beware bears. Beware bears. This is what it says. Beware yeah. bears. Yep. This spring, officials warm of after mauling. It was a grisly... Terrible. It was a grisly death. Yeah. Grisly death. Ugh. A has Montana a... guide, this is really kind of sad. It a is. Montana guide has died after being mauled by a grizzly bear near Yellowstone last week. Yeah. After the attack, causing scalp and, and facial wounds, Carl Mock managed to call for help. The grizzly was shot and killed when it attacked wardens investigating Mock's mauling. Officials believe the bear attacked because he was protecting a moose carcass some 148 feet from the site. So guys, be careful. It is bears are coming out. Um, if you have, if you live anywhere where there's a lot of bears, and unfortunately we do have bears in Hudson, we just don't see them that often. But a lot of, I have a couple of my friends up north. Look at him. I have a couple of my friends up north who um, the bears have already attacked all their bird feeders. They've been on their porch. They've broken yep. some of their windows. Yep. So yeah, bears uh, they're not uh, discriminative about who they go after. That's right. No, there was a bear on my friend's house in Nashua on her porch. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I would, uh, yeah. I wouldn't know how to deal with a bear up here. I, I, I just. Well, just don't lay down. Yeah. 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 
I, I think, you know, I was thinking something, but I'm just okay. not even going to okay. go there. Okay. Okay. But I like okay. books. I like big grizzly <clears throat> bears. Okay. Yeah. Does this sound Well, these are black. We don't have grizzlies um, here. We have black. Have black bears. Yeah. Mm. And Facebook I think- makes foray into audio. All aboard the clubhouse train. Facebook is developing a feature to play short, snackable audio clips. And live auto rooms. Hmm, what does this sound like? Huh, hmm. TikTok. Hmm. Ah. Where people can chat in real time. Hmm. It will hmm. also include a podcasting feature, and the company is working with Spotify on Boombox to share music. Hmm. Twitter, Reddit, ah. and LinkedIn are all testing similar features, but with Clubhouse, it's valued at $4 billion. It's just a flash in the pan. Downloads of the app decreased 70, 70% in March from a February high, suggesting it's waning in popularity. Facebook plans to make the new audio services mm-hmm. available by summer. Of course they do. I, of course they well, do. Well, if you don't quit running us all off, you ain't going to have nothing. Uh-oh. That's right. I, just, I know. Right. It's it's really terrible. I mean, I know. you can't say, you can't do anything on this. No. <laughs> they're, no. they're the only entity no. that knows how to make baby doll behave. Because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done with that. Right. I know. I think the most... Boom, censor. Boom, (laughs) censor. Boom. You're in time out. Boom. I think it's called behavior modification. Yes. Behavior modification for baby dogs. You know, know, they didn't call me wild horse for nothing because you can never tame me. But Facebook, Mark Z has learned how to tame baby dogs. Oh, that's oh. terrible. I know. That's Sorry, J Bird, and everybody else that tried to tame me. It didn't it's work. Didn't work. <laughs> Go talk to Mark. He figured out yeah. how to do it. Right. <laughs> well, this is the this is just a horrible news item. This is just yeah. really something. Yeah. Chuck and a loves giant that. rabbit has yeah. been stolen yeah. in the UK. Yeah. This is horrible. Uh, a giant yeah. rabbit. Giant. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> stolen. Leaping lizards. Yeah. Nope. Make that leaping bunnies. An enormous rabbit has been stolen in the UK. The Associated Press is reporting that one of the largest bunny rabbits has been stolen from its home in central England. I don't know, baby doll, can you put, put that up to the camera? Oh, this. According oh, yeah, to the yeah. West Mercia Police, Darius, a continental giant rabbit, disappeared from its enclosure in a backyard. Look at the size of that freaking yeah. rabbit. Yeah, I know. Really. It's huge. Really? It's huge. It's bigger than my Petey. They did not elaborate on on why they thought it was a theft instead of an escape or the exact date and the time of the bunny napping. The area police has appealed for any information about sightings on Darius, who is gray, brown, and (laughs) whoppingly usually four feet and three inches long at full stretch. Are you kidding? He's almost as tall as me. (laughs) No, I mean, he would be, he would be. I could dance with him. They would do better to pay two million dollars to find the rabbit than to kill, uh, uh, what's that damn Bigfoot out in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we didn't get down there yet. What's the, the area police has appealed for any information, so please help them out. He (laughs) holds the Guinness World Record citation of the world's longest rabbit. Rabbits of, of this type are known to weigh up to 15 to 20 pounds. Oh. Dazzler's owner, Anthony Edwards, a large rabbit breeder and model, well, she's a model, urged the culprit or culprits to return Darius to his home in Stolton, which is around 100 miles northwest of London. Saying it was a very sad day when her lover, big boy, went missing. Oh, it is. So terrible. It was really sad. <gasps> right. I can sleep with that bunny. Big no old shit. bunny. <laughs> oh. Um, do you know that they actually have a dog psychic now? Wow. Jedi. Oh, no. Jedi. Do you? Yeah. Jedi's sleeping. He's bored. Right. Yeah. Tell you the other day when he got sick, I wish he'd have been around so he could tell me what was wrong. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. It's yeah. just something else. Mm. But that rabbit, that is like big news. I mean, because yeah. that's a big yeah. fucking rabbit. Yeah, that's a <laughs> big <laughs> rabbit. Yeah, it is. Sean, can we get one of those? Yeah. yeah. Hard to believe, though. Did, did, did he rabbit. just say that? Yeah. yeah. One of these. Look at this. He's over there on the dark yeah. web again. Wow. He yeah. is not watching us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost like a Maine Coon cat. Get a Maine Coon. I'm not getting a Maine Coon cat. Well, we were on we the list. Cats. We were on the list when we cat. We do need cats because you know the other night. This is terrible. The other night, uh, three o'clock in the morning, I hear this. Oh my god! 
Yep. And yeah. I thought John, I really thought my husband was in his, you know, this drawer next to the, he's got a table next to yeah. his, on his side of the yep. bed. So I said, John, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? He sound asleep. It was some type of yeah. mouse. A little, yeah. It could have been, yeah. you know, it could have been a zombie hand. It could have been. been anything. <laughs> I think it was the chipmunks, because right. y'all got <gasps> thousands oh, of chipmunks yeah. in this yard. Since, since Melanie took the cat and left. Mm -hmm. We've got an influx of chipmunks and oh, squirrels. Oh, I know. Oh, mm. yeah. Hi, yeah. Monkey Murray. Glad to have you on. Hi, Jean. Nice to see you tonight. Uh, yes, we love having Nurse Patty in the house with yes. us. Yes, Nurse. We finally. She said, "I love that. I love that Nurse Patty is with you tonight. Looking great, ladies. Listening while grilling." Um, I hope What's you bring grilling? us something for lunch tomorrow. Oh, yeah. 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 Come yeah. on. Come on over and bring your leftovers. <laughs> we and don't I, have a kitchen yet. No. <laughs> I was going to bring something up tonight. There's a lot of things to bring up tonight, but yeah. I wanted to tell you something. This is, um, oh, I wanted to give a shout out to um, Mr. and Mrs. G. I really hope you guys are on the mend. We're really praying for oh, you. Oh, yeah. You know, you bless the both of you. We haven't heard. We're just hoping yeah. that you're out of the woods. Yeah. You're back in your truck, or you could be in your woods in your truck, wherever yeah. you want to be in your truck. We hope you're safe, and we hope you're healthy. Is he, is he just going to need love like that? Oh, God, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, my oh God, God, he's such yes. spoiled. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you know, I want to tell you, I came across some ads, Sweetie. some ads in some local newspapers, and I, I oh. thought this was, you guys might enjoy okay. these. <clears throat> this is in a newspaper. I won't tell you which one. Mixing bowls set to design to please a cook with round bottoms for efficient beatings. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have to read that one more time. <laughs> okay, I'll yep. read it. <clears throat> yep. Okay, the ad says it's you know the for sale. It's in the for sale. Yep. You know people mm. are selling their stuff. We see that every day, yep. right? And this one says mixing bowls set mixing bowl set designed to please a cook with round bottoms for efficient beating. Mm. Yes. Ooh, yes. round bottoms. Yeah. Are you okay? I have a song. Yeah. About that? I don't know. Yeah, fat bottom girls. From yeah, yeah, bottom yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> I Nord bet that. And then, and then we have one that says, "Not a track for sale. Three hundred dollars. Hardly used. Called chubby." <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. That is. Called chubby. Under the wanted. Under the wanted with the ads to go to work. This man wants. Unmarried girls to to pick fresh fruit and produce at night. <laughs> and produce <laughs> at night. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So pick fresh fruit and produce or, or and produce. produce at night. Produce, oh, at, produce night. at night. Fresh fruit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Now we had some what the hell moments. Okay. I have what the hell moments all day. Yeah. I mean, all day today I said. <laughs> yeah. What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, it wasn't what the hell. It was what the. But I yep. went what the hell because I'm trying to be. Right. right. You know. Yeah. I had a what the hell when I come a con turned on the street up here and there's a truck in the middle of the road, no flashers, nobody's in the seat, just parked in the middle of the road. Welcome to New England. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That Dumb, what was that? Bonehead oh, of the week. Frank, Tell me they were Frankie's Massachusetts calling us. plates. Oh, look, the unholy ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, Frank came in for the you fun. Know, Frank, you missed out what I was discussing yeah. about women in yeah. the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Well. But I know, actually, I had a what holy home moment. There was like, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> you know. This was, I was reading an article. And it's about that damn COVID shot. First you get one. Mm. Oh, no, now you need two. Then you go to one that has one. Can't get that because now that causes blood clots. And mm -hmm. then so now you go back to the two. But now they said, no, you're going to need a third shot yep. after the first two shots. Yep. And then after the third shot, you got to wait six months because you're going to need another one. Mm -hmm. What the hell is yep. going on with well, this shit? And they've well, already I mean, recalled stuff. one of I them. Mean, I mean, to me, you know something? Yeah. I ain't doing none of it because um, y'all go get the what shot. What the hell? You get the shot, I'll be safe, and I'll, I'll be the last one standing. And I'm gonna say, oh no, what you the right. hell? You won't be the last one. I will be because that's my thing. Uh, what <laughs> the hell? <laughs> and then I have. I, I mean, I'm telling you. Yeah. My other oh, thing was about man. all these 
shootings and killings and everything right now. No. You know, you guys, you can't blame a gun, okay? A gun is no. like a pen. I could take this pen and I could right. stab her in the ear and I could kill her with this pen. So mm -hmm. are we going to say pens kill? Right. Yes. I could stick it up her nose and go like yep. this. Yep. <laughs> right well, I got something yep. even better for you, yep. trucking ladies. All you got to do is get this little bottle, put some gasoline, not diesel fuel, gasoline in it. And if you're a smoker, you already got your mm -hmm. thing. You just squirt it, light them up. Light them up. I don't need a gun. Because right. I'm so a anyways, fire your ass where, up. Where yep. I'm going with this is <laughs> yeah. gun control, gun control, yeah. gun control. You know something? <clears throat> It's not so much the guns that we have to control. Mm -hmm. It's what the people that are using these guns mm -hmm. see right. and hear every day. Right. Now, for the last 25 yeah. years, every video game made yeah. for kids yeah. is how to kill. I actually had a 14-year-old yeah. boy in my classroom telling me, yeah. Mrs. G., we should have a riot. Let's start a riot in Nashua. I'm stealth. I could take all those guys that, you know, all those guys, the army guys down. Yep. I could take the National Guard. I yep. said, you're 14. You're 14. Yep. You're 5'3". What do you weigh? Yep. 110 pounds wet? Yeah. yeah. You're talking about a grown man, 25, yep. probably 180 pounds, yep. well-skilled. Well yeah. Really? But, but in yep. his mind, right. in his video games, he says, well, I win. All yeah. the time. That's right. And it's I a had, game. It's a game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a 16-year-old boy in Daytona Beach, Florida, mm -hmm. shoot a taxi cab driver in the head for $10. And when he's in jail, and I tell you, know, what was going through your head? He goes, it's just, I'm just playing a game. No, you're not. Yeah. On the game has a reset. That driver right. had two small children and a wife, and mm -hmm. you killed him. There's right. no reset for that man. Right. So and then and then along with that, mm -hmm. not only are they playing games, they're yeah. listening to these vi these the music. Oh, oh let's yeah. just beat her. I'm yeah. gonna bump her up. Blah blah yep. blah yep. blah. Are you kidding yep. me? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? But yep. that, but it's okay. We can have all that. We can have yep. our children. We can have these generations listening to shit, playing these games yep. to kill. Yep. What the hell do people expect? Yep. What the yep. hell do you think's going on? Yep. But the truth of the matter is. Same amount of fatalities from car accidents is about the same from gun accidents mm -hmm. and gun fatalities every year. But they don't want to take your cars away. Right. But on a serious note, just I need to say this. I want to give prayers out to the people in Indianapolis and their mm -hmm. families. And most of them are yes. our Sikh brethren, yes. our allies, that most of that was their family. And come to find out what she was saying... It was a 19-year-old kid that went in there and shot up the FedEx in Indianapolis. Yeah. So there you go. I guess he was playing video games and figured out how to yeah. shoot up the whole FedEx. Mm -hmm. But we want to really pray for our Sikh brethren yes. because yes. they lost a lot of people yes. in that. That and, is and, absolutely yeah. true. Yes. And you know this kid's going to go to court. Yeah, he can see a psychiatrist. Oh yeah, they're and get play, off and go to the nut the game. Ward. Right. You know, mm -hmm. all these people. Um, this oh background checks. Maybe we should have psychiatrists. When you buy a gun, ha have a psychiatrist give you a check. Are you kidding me? Yeah, right. I yeah, gotta that work. Scott yeah. Jordan is smart as a whip, and he's crazy as well, a fucking loon. So right. he passed a crazy test. That's what that's I'm right. saying. That's right. Most psychos are smarter than but we actually, are. They are. Honestly, well, absolutely. I have a lot of respect for psychiatrists, but I got to tell you, did <laughs> yeah. you ever check out some of their families? Well, uh, yeah, well, I mean, okay. you know, they yeah. they can be of a suspect nature as yeah, well. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, they uh, certainly I, can. Yep. And you've worked with a lot of them. I you have. Know. Yeah. But did y'all know, I just stepped back a minute, but did y'all know that that 19-year-old's parents mm -hmm. called the FBI a year prior yes. to let them know that Well, the that thing is, he, you're right. The thing was, yeah. the reason why the FBI didn't check him, yeah. because he wasn't a Trumper. If you are a Trumper, mm -hmm. you're going to get investigated. Yeah. You're going to be on the yeah. watch list. But yeah. the people that are on the watch list, because they're not Trumpers... But not being investigated. But he right. did kill himself. He did. He, he that he did. kid did just, kill himself. But it's still sad old. because he that's, probably yep. got the idea from the stupid yep. freaking yep. well again and, 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 videos. And again, it comes down to who who's parenting. 
That's the problem. Nobody. I, I can't say games? nothing. I walk into yep. my child's house and her friend's sitting there playing yep. these damn army games in front of my granddaughters. Yep. No. I mean, and that's what they Wrong. do. They play these games. Right. And well. the graphics are terrible. I mean, the graphics yeah. are so real. Oh, They're yeah. real. Oh, yes. I don't even, you know, when my kids were growing up, I never allowed... The, the, like, uh, what is that, Freddy Krueger movies? Yeah, Freddy Krueger right? had no, nothing no. on these no. video games. I but I did not allow that stuff in my house because mm-hmm. they were not old enough. And I had this little girl, she was a foster girl that I got, and then she came in my house, and she had a hard time sleeping at night. I'm thinking, why she can't sleep? Why can't she sleep? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, her father came for his visit, and mm-hmm. he said, oh, oh, that, that movie's on tonight. It was like some four, you know, like yeah. Elm Street 4 or whatever. I said, yeah. she, he goes, come on, honey, we'll watch. And I went, no, you're not. You can't move in my house because that's well, his vegetation. Yeah. I said, no. Right. No wonder the kid had freaking right. nightmares. Are you kidding me? You know me? which one I had a nightmare oh. on? And I was 16 years old. Do y'all remember that movie that came out, The Entity, where the spirit was raping yes, this girl yes, out of yeah, Texas? No. It was based on a true story. Yeah. Oh. Baby, oh. when I got yeah. home, I couldn't yeah. sleep. Yeah. And, every, yeah, I was scared the spirits is the devil is going to get me yeah. for real. Yeah. No, well, well, you had the devil story, but that was really that yeah. really well, freaked yeah. me. Well, that scared that's... me when I was little. Was the Wizard of Oz flying monkeys because they were bigger than me? Oh, <laughs> my father, oh. and my sister said. They're coming, Tracy. They can carry you away. Like, oh, oh, Trucker oh, V, God. Trucker V. She's got a flying monkey in her truck. No. Yes. No, I fly, can't. Don't yeah. show me that. Yeah, she got don't a flying monkey. She got a monkey. Oh, Before. but she's got the good monkey. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, my other thing is, I think this might piss some people off, but I gotta say, what the hell's with May Day? I, I, have, I, I have tried. I think it does. This May Day have... rally. I have tried so hard to figure out what the hell's the goal. Is it about the Maypole and the dancing? No, well, we, this is the truck rally. No, no, rally. this is Trump. <laughs> so you're I'm sorry. Sorry. You know, it's the May I'm Day. On, I'm because on it page. starts on May 1st, and of oh. course. May 1st, unfortunately, is a Saturday and Sunday, so they'll probably just be parked at the Capitol in Indianapolis having a barbecue. But Monday is a good day. It's Monday, so they're going to do something at the Capitol. But what really makes it funny is the Three Stooges are running this show. Uh, Would y'all like to know who the Three Stooges are? My. Well, well, this is not Mo, Larry, and Curly. Hey, I gotta tell you before no. you, I gotta tell you this really quick. We actually have a sub that looks like Larry Fine. Oh god. Oh well. But anyways, I, go the, ahead. The, the Three Stooges are um, Nazi. Oh god. Claiborne. <laughs> Jesus. Cock. <laughs> Will. And oh, and Mister Playboy San Diego. Oh. That's okay. our Three Stooges. And I love Jeremy Johnson. Run, Jeremy! Please run! You're getting sucked into the circus. No, I like Jeremy, and I like to hear him talk and everything. But I'm a little confused because I still, I wish someone would call in and tell me, what is your goal? Because you know yeah. something, if you're getting these drivers, I don't know why you guys didn't get these drivers. Take them down to the fence in Washington. Pack your asses all along that fence because that's the people's mm-hmm. property. You might have got a shitload of attention, but honestly, in Indiana, I don't know. And if you really did have a good agenda, I happen to have my hands in the pocket of one of our uh, ATA members. And, you know, I I could make a phone call and have him, you know, if he really uh, believes in the drivers like he says he does, I would have him come down and, and have a talk with y'all. And he's also the president of the Indiana Road Association, too. So he, he's, he's got a little clout. So, you know, some of us know some people, too. Really, the dog has something to say about it. Yeah, I know. He was yeah, talking. He was. I said ATA, growl. Growl again. <laughs> I said ATA, growl. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, you know, I, I think this is great. I think when, they, when drivers all get together and do something, I think it's great. But, you know, it gets to a point where you're asking people 
to give up a couple of days of work, especially three days. When, three days when freight's up there, they're I trying know. to make money because let's face yep. it, a lot of people lost a lot during COVID yeah. and everything else. Yeah. People are trying to recover. I, I, it's one thing I don't mind getting behind somebody, but I need to know what their goal is. I need to know what you what what you're actually trying to accomplish. Because I don't know if anybody else has anybody heard anything what they're trying to accomplish. I don't know. Media attention is all I know. If it's media attention, when the media comes out there, what are you guys going to do? Put your dicks in the dirt and go, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying that. I mean, it's, it's just a bad analogy. But what the hell? What are you doing out there? I got to get shot from these microphones. I know. But actually, I, and I just don't get it. So I wish somebody would let me know because I'd be more than happy to get behind you. But I just want to know. I can know when somebody approached me to join a couple of groups and I, they wanted me to pay dues. So when I said to them, oh, okay, I don't mind paying dues to something, but show me where it goes. Mm -hmm. Show me what, what my money is going to get me from joining your group. So far, all these groups, I haven't really seen too much. And I'm not saying that to be a bitch or no. a witch or whatever. Mm -hmm. I just want to know the facts. Now, I see like Sherry Morris out doing stuff, real women in trucking will, will you know, donate she to them. Trucking. She trucking. I mean, and even uh, Trucker's Nation is, is, is Trucker's done, Nation has yeah, done Yeah, they've something. done stuff. So, at least you know, but I don't know what this other stuff is called. And I'm not saying that to put anybody down or mm -mm. anything. But, I mean, I'm just the sort that if I'm going to spend my money, because I do live with a cheap Irishman, that, <laughs> I, that I, yeah, ha I no want to know. Yeah, you know how that is. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... I just want to figure it out. That's all. If you, if you would, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to know what your thoughts are on that. We'd love to know what's happening. Because I don't understand about May Day. And sometimes I don't understand about um, the October going to Washington because it ends up just being a big cookout. You know, somebody comes down and talks to you for five or ten minutes, but... The only thing, the only thing that ever happened was the first one, back the blue, which some people go, oh, it's a joke. We didn't get nothing done. But actually, we got a lot done. Um, so I don't know, people. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just in that type of mind tonight. I don't know. What's going on with it all? Our internet sucks so bad. Some days it does. Yep. Some days it really does. Yep. What, what, uh, what are we coming up on the hour, right? Ah, uh, we yes, we have yeah. some commercials. You know, we were talking about beavers earlier. Here's yeah. a known fact that I know. I know a lot of these stupid facts. Okay. Do you know beaver teeth are so sharp that the Native Americans would, when they killed the beaver, would use their teeth as knives? They didn't have to do anything to them. Oh wow! Oh, no. I didn't know that. So when you encounter a beaver, yeah, okay, you don't go for his teeth. No, you no. bash him in the head. Right. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Give him a. Yep. So y'all know that, that would be that, another, that's a true fact. Another bad wow. thing, you know. Having a, yep. Actually, you know, I also wanted to know, and I no one could tell me. Hopefully, somebody out there is listening. Um, could someone tell me what happened to uh, Burt Reynolds' alligator, Fred? When Burt Reynolds died, was it a year ago or two years ago? He had an alligator for over fifteen years, and the alligator his name was Fred. But we never heard what oh. happened to Fred. We know what happened to all his love life. We know what happened to his wigs. We know what happened to everything. What happened to Fred? Yep. Well, what you know, they was bootlegging again just real soon. Just just a few nights ago, they was bootlegging the ghost of Snowman. R this really happened. Snowman got pulled over. And um, where is it? Um, shit. Anybody, tell me. I got the video. It was, it, was, it was true. But Snowman got pulled over. They looked at his bill of lading. He let them know that he was coming from Texarkana. He had... His logbook said he left Atlanta, went to Texarkana, and was on his way back. So, Snowman's ghost is out there still running. And it really was Coors beer in the back of the truck. So, I had asked my uh, Bandit Run guys if they were up to no good again. But I never got a response. They might be in jail. <laughs> now I know why they were running so fast and hard. They didn't want to get yeah, to was... the Coors. Yeah, David Bitts and uh, Wayne Anderson, uh, they are part of the uh, Bandit Run, and you can go to the Bandit Run 2021, and they do uh, the Smoking the Bandit. They got the 
Trans Am and all that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> if they're not wow. in jail for smuggling Coors beer again. <laughs> or we really do have a black dog called Snowman now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Jeez. And that was like three nights ago. <laughs> there was, a, there was a, I was watching one of those weird TV channels, yeah. and they were selling underwear. And I'm not talking about underwear that you can buy and wear. These were underwear that were worn by, were worn by other people. <laughs> you know my niece. Yes. Who my niece yeah. told me that. She brought that up to her husband. Because, yeah. you know, she's a stay-at-home mom. She said, you know, I, I yeah. found out that, that mm -hmm. I can make a lot of money yeah. selling my dirty panties online. Yeah. That's right. Tom, <laughs> you know, they did that years ago. Tom Jones made about $500 by saying sent yeah. By selling some of the underwear yeah. that women throw at him, yeah. but the person who got the most money for his underwear, yeah. of course, is dead. Was thirteen hundred dollars was a pair of un of Elvis's boxer shorts. <gasps> that's and that's all thirteen hundred. That ain't shit. But here's another. Here's another. What the hell? What the hell right. do you do with that, Christy Parsons? Give us a shout out. What the hell you're gonna do with the used underwear? Okay, because I don't have a clue. <laughs> I mean, I know what the right. guys are doing with the dirty panties. Yeah. Sniffing yep. that shit. Oh my yeah. God. Yep. Sniff oh. that shit, baby. Yep. Mm. Yeah. 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 Um, that is just disgusting. Yeah. It is. I'm yep. so I would love. never sniff a man's boxers. Oh, never. Never. Because their farts really stink. Oh. Can you imagine oh. sniffing a man's. I know. You know, right? the stretched out elastic. Right. No. Ugh. It's not right. That's not know. right. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but it's coming well, up in the hour, and we have some yeah. commercials we got to play. Mm -hmm. So give it a go, John. Give it a go. All right. Go, girl. Are you trying to hold him? Yeah, you don't have to hold him all the time. Oh. He's a great Hey, drivers. TJ here. Are you a new owner operator or an old owner operator? Still using the same old broker? Well, here's some great news for you. You want to put some more profit into your pocket? Call RightLoad.com. RightLoad is your premium shipper. Direct load board where you, the owner operator, or the small independent carrier, or a company of any size, may book your next load directly from the shipper. No more dealing with brokers that want to keep a lion's share of profit. Book your loads with RightLoad.com www.rite.load.com Sign up is free. Really, you get that? Sign up is free. And you may book a load for the low price of $27 per load. Now, if you've been dealing with brokers, you know what a deal that is. That is far less than what any broker is going to charge you. Folks, don't delay. Sign up today at www.rite.load.com Matt Kane and his crew will take care of all your driver's necessities. Thank you, driver. Let me tell you about Oats. That's the outrageous American truck show at the Holmes County Fairgrounds at Harvest Ridge in beautiful Millersburg, Ohio. This event is happening July 8th through the 11th of 2021. This is not your typical truck show. We are featuring semi-truck tours, full ride, and two days and nights of concerts, comedians, fireworks, and beer garden and vendors. Of course, we will be having a Sunday church service. This will be the single greatest truck show that you will ever attend in trucking. Tickets come in one-day passes, two-day passes, and four-day passes. Booths are available to vendors. To order your tickets, visit us at oats2021.com. That's O-A-T-S 2021.com. If you won't want to miss this event, visit the site at oats2021.com and get your tickets today. Oh, good. <laughs> you got a song. 
Huh? We have a song. Mm -hmm. song. Okay. You are back on. Hey. Oh, jeez. Oh. I forgot all about the hey. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh, we was all going hey, so 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 <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. yeah. all three of us in the same we room. We could have used that information about eight seconds ago, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. We I, thought, I thought you would catch up with the music quiz. Hey, yeah, I know. <laughs> no, no, her no that didn't, well, that was not a good clue. Oh, was so. that Jedi Farton? Or was that, oh, was it? It was show. Jesus. They don't stink, though. They don't stink. Yeah, I'm good that I have the window right here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Get some air in here. I really Hey, did. what? <laughs> 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 Guys. Oh, Welcome back to TIBN. Jedi. The Broom. You're viewing us on YouTube, Spreaker, and Twitter. Once in a while, hit like. That would be great. That would be awesome. But then again, if you don't like, I don't care. It's just how we feel. Oh. It's just all about. It's just all about us. I mean, that's what it's all about. I hate to say it, but that is the truth. That's right. That's but, right. But anyways, Christy Parsons sent us a little thing. She said, uh, oh. "You send dirty boxes to your enemies filled with glitter, so when they open the box, oh, yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, good yeah. idea." Elephant yeah. John doesn't wear boxes, but that's okay. Doesn't wear tidy whities either. What okay. does he wear? If anybody guesses. I'll send you a boy. Don't they call that going commando? Nope. A boy thong. Oh, nope. oh a boy. Oh. Nope. If you Ooh. guess it, I'll send you a broom. So. Oh. <laughs> if you I'm guess not, it. I'm glad it wasn't a oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, don't talk about he wears a pull up. You shouldn't say that. <laughs> nope. That's not a, a pull up. <laughs> a silhouette pull up. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Nope, it's not a pull John, up. John, that's okay. All right. It's well, dope. if y'all get the right answer to what John wears, we got a we got a prize. We got for a prize you. for you. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a very interesting day. I'm at work, slaving a hard job, you know. It's so hard sometimes. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, you know. Mm. I think I have allergies. I I, I told my boss today. I, I do have allergies. Every time I see so many children, I start sneezing and my head gets filled. <laughs> yeah. So I think I have allergies to children. Yeah. I, I, I know I do. Yeah. I think I really do. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not the dog, because the dog, my dog is a non allergic dog. Right. <laughs> so it's not him. And he's too cute to be allergic to me, so that oh, wouldn't happen. <laughs> but children, on the other hand, not so much. Oh. But, anyways, <clears throat> I come oh. home from work and baby doll's hysterical. She <laughs> is so. She's so hysterical. Look at her. She can't even stand herself. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Uh oh. All right, one down. We got one down. All right. I'm, I'm glad I got barriers between yeah, me right. so I don't fall yeah. out the stairs again. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> as you know, her best friend, I know. Lana. Lana, Lana, Lana D. Yep. I wrote a song for you, baby, she today. Did. She I wrote did. A song. I wrote a song for Lana. And, um, you know, Lana, uh, good luck. I came home. I'm telling you, she was hysterical. I spent a lot, about three hours with her being hysterical. She wrote her song. Um, yeah. And then she yeah. sang it. <laughs> well, I'm going to attempt to sing it. But, I, but I, I'm doing a little Jake Break Junkie tonight, but on a lot dirtier scale. So, no association. But you know, anyway, is, I learned I from the this best. Is, this is all in fun. <laughs> Where's Linda Stockton's ass at? She's the one that started this shit. She did. Linda started it. Where you at, Linda? Where you at? <laughs> well, John. Where's Lisa and Lee? I thought they were. I know Lisa them. and Lee. All y'all, y'all egged me. Y'all like egging me. Y'all egged me, and mm. and we sat down at dinner, and the witches wrote this song. So we want to dedicate this to Miss Goody T. She's Lana. <laughs> Would you like to hit it, John? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love my ways. <laughs> I was brought up to get paid. Oh, get that money, girl. Uh, let's see, where are we at? 
I say, I won't come across. And hell, even San Diego lost his heart to Slana D. Says, I drink and I swear and I even wrap my hair when I get bills from the hills. Keep your paws on my silky drawers. Would you pull that crap out my ass? As for you, cook, I know what you want. <laughs> I didn't finish it, but I promise you, I'm going to finish it and work it, and I'll come back with the debut. <laughs> there you go. Say, I'm Lana. I'm Lana D. Yes. <laughs> oh I hope y'all enjoyed my first songwriting. Yeah, yeah very much. <laughs> That was that was something. I know. I I couldn't help it. We couldn't help it. We couldn't Our help little it. two goody two shoes that never does anything. Uh, uh, oh, uh, you know, uh, you, you know. Yeah. They said she was doing. She was going to teach us how to put on makeup, and she didn't use all that expensive stuff. She used pawn. What that? What she say that was? Pawn's cold cream. Remember oh, pawn's cold yeah. cream yeah. that uh, took care of us old hags's uh, wrinkly throats. But I don't know about you, but bitch, my throat ain't uh, wrinkly, and I don't think hers is. Is yours wrinkly? No. no. Nurse Patty's ain't wrinkly either, and I ain't never used none of that baby doll stupid shit. Yeah. And I look good. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Pond's cold cream. Oh, yeah. my God, Pond's that's been around. Pond's, yeah. Yeah. But that's what's made her who oh. she is. Yes. Oh. Well, that's nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Just stick to the yeah. Lana Lube sales. You'll yeah. be better off, right. babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <sighs> and, I saw, and I got it all done now. Linda, I'm pissed <laughs> off at you, bitch, because you're supposed to come over here and help me. <laughs> well, I don't know yeah. what happened to Linda tonight. I don't either. Oh. I have no idea. Okay. I sent her the link and everything, and John just sent it again. And Lisa and Lee, where are y'all at? The My truck little drivers are probably dealing with flat tires and backed up traffic and all those. Oh. Yeah, but they'll watch the replay. I, I, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll get some talk out of this one. <laughs> yes, you will. Now, we're going to go to a, a, a little thing that calls Don't Leave Home Without It. You know, you're at a restaurant and the waiter brings you a check. You reach in your pocket. This is John C. Oh. And uh, suddenly you realize your wallet's at home. Hmm. Hmm, John. Am hmm. I right? Am I right about this? I'm yeah. Right about this. Or hmm, you hand the waitress a credit card. She comes back and tells you apologetically. That it's expired or maxed out. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Yeah, it's declined. Yeah, I'm sorry. We figure there are two things to learn from the stories here. Yeah. Don't worry, it happens to everyone, and don't panic. If you're resourceful, if you're resourceful, you can deal with it. Even the president. You know, President Clinton was visiting Park City, Utah, on a Monday. He picked out several books at Dolly's Books and handed over his American Express card and his American Express card for $62.66, only to be informed it expired the day before. He had to pay cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the day before. Well, this is why cash is king, because you can always count yeah. on it. Right, yeah, right. But, but we're that's fixing the to be president cashless. of the United States. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. No checks accepted here. In April... A former prime minister, Margaret Thatcher, tried to purchase forty dollars worth of groceries with a check. The clerk didn't accept it. I can't override the system, so there's no way I can take her check, said cashier Shirley Taylor. She was very good about it, tore the check up and paid in cash. It was a bit embarrassing, I think. Oh, could you just imagine? The Prime Minister of England, they wouldn't even take her check. <laughs> what Man. makes you think they're going to take well, anybody else's? Right, right, right. After a young woman wrote a check at a clothes store in uh, Marina Del Rey, the clerk asked to see her driver's license. She explained apologetically that her wallet had been stolen, but she added they did have one, she did have one form of ID. I was the main, the May centiphobe. In the Playboy magazine, she said, I have the centerfold here in my purse. If you want to see it, she took it out. 
and he took their check. <laughs> yeah, and oh, I know something about yeah. some Playboy centerfolds, and I yeah. promise you that credit card declined because she's probably had a little too much cocaine or heroin. So, yeah, that ain't going to work, darling. Wow. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> wow. But I just thought that was... <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Yeah, that is. I'm a Playboy. I'm a Playboy centerfold. Yeah. My credit yeah. card is just unlimited. That's right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Woo. That's just <laughs> embarrassing when so. that happens. Though. Yeah. See, and Christy didn't say one thing about my song. I'm just devastated. Oh, I spent. She, she I spent. Huh? She said she had lyrics, lyrics to add to that. To remind her later. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I missed it. My my phone, the internet's not working. I ain't getting half of y'all's messages. Because yeah. <laughs> y'all didn't find me funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I spent hard 30 <laughs> minutes on writing that song. <laughs> you did too. Yep. <laughs> Can anybody guess, if you send us your little answer, I will send you a witch's broom. Can anybody guess the most popular name for a goldfish would be? Okay, I won't tell you guys. I'll write it. I'll show you guys. But Goldie uh, Hawn. Nope. Send your answers in. No, oh, I knew that oh. wasn't it. But <laughs> this is what it is. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Send your answers wow. in. And you Send your answers one. in. You so. will save a wonderful yep. witch's broom pen. I mean, yep. you, can't, you just can't live without it. I'm telling you. So we got enough, we, there's two prizes we're giving away. You figure out what John wears or don't wear as underwear. Mm -hmm. And then what, what was it? The, 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 the name of the, what name. is the most popular name for goldfish? For goldfish. Mm -hmm. All right. Now so it next week. Hard. <laughs> right? All right. All right. I was thinking Goldie Hawn, goldfish, right? Goldie. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say Goldie, yeah. Or mm -hmm. Gold Bar, and then, yep. yeah. No, yep. And the uh, second, my no. second guess would have been Cleo. So yeah, yeah. I don't that, know. That just seems to. Yeah. Be, I, I'm thinking of um, Pinocchio when uh, Geppetto and when he gets swallowed by Monstro the whale and they, oh, yeah. you know, the cat. I don't yeah. remember the cat's name, but I think the fish's name was Cleo. Christy, Maybe you the, should know the answer. Oh, was the cat's name fish. Cleo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, I don't know because I have his phone up here. Do you know that more people, are you ready for this? You're not going to believe this one. More people are killed by donkeys every year than are killed in plane crashes? No. Yeah. We're a bunch of asses out there. <laughs> yeah. I know, a bunch of asses. There <laughs> you that's, go. that's a true fact, though, but. <laughs> there you go. Don't, be get, don't get behind the ass. Yeah. <laughs> And there's a plenty right. of them in trucking, so <laughs> get, get the drift. <laughs> My hat just ain't working tonight. I was too busy working on this song. song. Yes, I know. I know. Well, I I I'll finish you, it. I have to tell you, now that I'm getting older, if I had a twin, I'd use my twin for bars. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna tell Charlene that? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlene, if you're listening, you, it's a good one, right? Yeah. I wish I had a twin because I could use her for my parts too. Well, oh, I right. keep waiting on them to perfect the clone thing. Yeah. You know, cloning yeah. us. They already clone right. people. I, yeah. Mm. Uh, and also, my Kentucky friends, you better know the law. The law says in Kentucky, really in Kentucky, citizens are required. By state law, to bathe at least once a month. Awesome. So you better be getting clean because we're had enough of you Kentuckians not not being clean. Well, so, I yeah. can honestly say I think my girl Shelly Conway and and my boy Kevin Young, they Kentuckians, and yeah. they at least sh they bathe on Saturday. Okay. They got to save up their points all week the for water? love, huh? <laughs> Do they share the water? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get their water. And, oh, uh, no. Well, <laughs> Kevin and, and would say, I go down to the creek, and uh, yeah. that's how I bathe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just want to make Well, we had something interesting today at school. I want to show you some artwork. Can I pull it up here? Let me pull up. Uh-oh. 
Where is he at? Uh oh, damn, we did good. We got oh, we got yeah, songs that, and artwork tonight. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, we have a very cultural program tonight. Yes. Mm, my hat's all I know. jacked up. My hat's all you jacked up tonight. You don't usually have. Can you that. put this in here? Yeah, I saw that. This is artwork at a middle school. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that. A ten million dollar mm. playground, and look at the artwork that some nice little lovely cherub did. <sighs> Can you see that on there? I don't think they can. I'm looking at it on the screen. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I don't think can't so. Do it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't yeah, see that. Well, anyways, the playground. what it is, it is a giant penis yep. facing down a hill at yep. everybody that walks by. Yeah, a circumcised penis at a that. A circumcised, yes. And that, that playground is uh, an adaptive playground. It's for uh, students in the intensive yep. uh, unit uh, in the program there at the school who yes. are... Um, you know, have a lot of mobility issues, and so many of them are in wheelchairs, and they take yep. them out there on the nice days, and um, you know, put them into the different kinds of equipment, and so that you know they, uh, you know, have a lot of fun and can enjoy and know how to, it is to swing, and they have a platform that's great for calming and um, you know helping helping the kids, and that's what some little shithead yep. had to go and do. Yep, and, uh. it, and it's painted on that foam stuff. It's yeah. not even painted in dirt or a sidewalk where they can just go over it. Right. They're going to have to come in and lift all the panels out and put new foam panels yeah. in. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. So uh, that is, um, what so, do they call that? That's vandalism. De vandalism, mm -hmm. yeah. Vandalism. Yep. D did, um, well, don't they have this new stuff because of all these riots and stuff they've been having yep. to clean up the walls and all this yep. stuff? Don't they have this, this spray now? This is, no, this is a foam. It's not a... Oh, uh, well, they're just going to have yeah, to yeah, replace I mean, it. Just, they're yeah, not going to be able to clean yeah. it. Yeah. They're going to have to replace it. You probably it. would have to yeah. be very careful with those... So that was the outlook yeah. at school. Items. Very interesting. Yep. yep, awful. You know, it's yep. it's a shame that that happened. Yep. Yeah. But I think it's time. What time is it? Oh, yes, it's 7.16. It's time to discuss the asshole. Of oh, yes. There's just so many. It's so hard to choose. I know. Yep. That's yep. the hard part. You know, you're reading this stuff and you're going... What am I going to choose? Yeah. Is it a truck driver? Yeah. God, there's yeah. just so many. I just couldn't even know. Uh, we got the three stooges. Oh. We, got we got Lana D. Yeah. Yeah. We got the dumbass bonehead well, trucker. Lana isn't D isn't a dumbass. She's just out there. I mean, let's just face it. That poor woman. We love Lana D. Yeah, we do. She's all right. She's, she's She just, gives me entertainment when I get bored. Yeah. I thought you said you don't get bored. She well, yeah, well, if I do, I have entertainment. She has her moments. I just go to, find Lena you know and, and, right. and make myself laugh. Right, right. right. <laughs> what you're saying is she's a delightful distraction. While she is a very delight. Yes, yeah, she is a delight <laughs> to laugh at when I'm stressed out. Yes. That's how, yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> now, here's the point. Why not? Why not? You know that Trevor Hunter, Trevor North, host of The Daily Show, just doesn't understand sports or gender. No. Now, just in case you don't know what sports are, that's baseball, football, hockey, golf, whatever. And if you don't know what gender is, that means male or female. Mm -hmm. And I have to explain this because today's society, kids are having a hard time to understand this. If you have a penis, you're a boy. If you have a vagina, you are a girl. Sorry, that's a fact. We can't change it, even though people want to change it every single day. Anyways, and, and that's okay. That's if that's, that's what they want to yes. do. But you know something? Take it somewhere else because I'm going to laugh at you. No. But we so, Louder with Crowder host Stephen Crowder claims the Daily Show's host, Trevor Noah, says so many dumb things in his videos that they had to add a part two. <laughs> Noah makes a couple of disturbing claims regarding transgender athletes. First, he uses the appeal to authority fallacy to support his belief biological men should be allowed to compete in women's sports. In other words, he quotes one authority and claims that settles the issue. <coughs> the problem is that it doesn't. Men in women's sports is not mainly about women losing college scholarships or, or just losing. Uh. It's an issue of fairness as well as health. When a young person uses puberty blockers, the effects can be lifelong. It's not just about the sport anymore. Regar regarding fairness, Crowder reveals the transgender issue fundamentally changes the rules. If a trans athlete can take substances that increase performance and simply 
and simply claim it's a trans-related issue, how is that fair to the young woman in sports that's not using the drugs? It isn't fair. It isn't fair. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm sorry. A man cannot compete with women in sports. Let's face it, a man can run faster. Yep. His whole his whole yep. physiology is just made. Oh. It's geared for that. Yep. Women's body right. are not geared for some of the harsh. Well, I know. I'm gonna have to disagree because Jack. Uh, uh, what? What's that? GI Jane can kick some ass. Okay, GI Jane can kick ass, but there's a man that can kick her ass that's even bigger. Than well, that. he did whip the ass out of her, yeah. but yeah. yeah. They she do did. have <laughs> males. She was tough. Males have more muscle mass. I know. Muscle muscle mass. I know. I'm just I'll, playing. I'll, I, I, oh, no, I agree that, with you. But I'll, no, that's a good. I mean, women can certainly be very. But there's a lot strong. of women that think that they can. Right. Every now and then, I think I can. Yeah. I know I can. <laughs> I just do it dirty. I don't a bit. I got. I got. I'm gonna get my, you dirty. My philosophy is: you wait till they're sleeping, and then. Mm, well, <laughs> you know that's what. We got that's the what bed method over That's there. what yeah, Willie right. Nelson's wife did. She waited till Willie went yep. to sleep. She sewed him up in the sheet and she beat the shit out of him oh. with a belt. Oh. Well, I yeah. didn't think of that. That'll yeah. Be. Yeah, that'll get your point. No well, idea. that's my greatest. No, mine is this. See, I have these really bad pointy elbows. See? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She oh, does. No. She does. She'll dig those right into you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I will tell all my exes, I said, all right, you got to uh, go to sleep. Boo, Your drunk ass boo, is going to sleep. Boo, I got boo, you. Boo, John. <laughs> is John crying over there? Hey, look, yeah, he is. He's wiping a tear. I have up with Charlie horses. I know what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh honey. Hey, you know, a, a well, good hot pot grits were good. He was good. eating popcorn in bed. Yeah. All night long. I was going, oh, my God. Something's picking me. Something's on my leg. Oh. And I couldn't figure out what it was because every time I moved, it was a freaking piece of kernel popcorn. He was getting my, huh. on my side of the bed. Do you know how uncomfortable that is? Yes. At one time, I slept on an M and M. I couldn't even go to work because oh I had a big bruise. <laughs> oh, the princess and, and the M and M's got nuts in them. He knows okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that supplies the popcorn and brings in the popcorn ball and goes, "Here, honey, has popcorn balls and everything." I don't know what this is about blaming me. Oh, what are you talking about? You well, have snacks every night. Well, we got to appease night. you, do you honey. See, do you see his big jar of M and M's in the bedroom? Honey, that ain't a big jar. That's a fucking mace. <laughs> He loves his M and M's. Yeah, popcorn and M and M's. Yep, but I'll tell you, when you sleep on those little fuckers, they oh, oh I can only imagine. They, they hurt. I yeah. can only imagine. That's yeah. the reason why we now we is put it, it up as great plain or peanut? Hey, hey, plain Next or time, peanut M and M's? The M and M peanut only. Oh. Who in the hell eats plain? M and M and M. Next time the M and M's because I'm sure he he, oh, he yeah. sleeps his back to you, right? Yeah. M and M. <laughs> <laughs> Think about where hey, it needs to go. Oh. It will melt very easily, and he'll God. never know the difference when he no, gets up and goes to the bathroom. Super glue. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's never going to sleep. <laughs> I think I'm going to stay in the cellar for <laughs> If John is in a producing one night, it's because yeah. he's <laughs> has a yeah. Because on Monday night, he slept with his back to Tracy. <laughs> I got this <laughs> my running around the room tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going the darkness. You know, you might maybe want to put on a, a two or three oh. pair of, uh, mm. you know, knickers. Tonight, y'all go by my MS heart. Y'all yeah. stop. Yeah. Linda, hey, Linda, where you been? She was supposed to call me and sing. <coughs> Linda, you were supposed to come sing my Lana D song. I wrote a song, Linda. She worked very hard. On it. I worked the whole 30 minutes singing. <laughs> they, they left the room while I was writing this song. Jake Break Junkie would be so proud of me. I, I had to do the dishes. <laughs> you had to do the dinner? Yeah, yeah she was helping with the lyrics, trust oh, me. Yeah. Okay. yeah, she was helping. Miss. 
you know. But she, I had to. I had to do the. Um, <laughs> I had to do the dishes. Yeah. But now I yeah. usually do the dishes, but I, I was so I was amped up today. Well, when you're, you know, when you're in the zone for songwriting, you've got to. I know. Man, it was, it was just it. hitting me. I couldn't. That's right. You know. I, I, I got it from Greece, you know. Yes, yeah, uh, that was a good choice. I, I would have gave anything. Well, yeah. you know, I would have gave you know anything to have right a wig today. We're missing, we're missing that uh, President and and uh, oh. and, and Harris. They're uh, oh. speaking oh. about Siobhan right now. I Are mean, they? I, oh, yeah, that's man. good. I don't, what the hell are they giving him so much credit for? I mean, just, just like, go away, man. I'm done with all this stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, really. Mm. But well, on that note... That was strung out on so much fit. They're going to harp Matthew on it. It doesn't on matter. It, harp on it, it doesn't it, matter. He was not given a free trial. I, people can no. say he was. No, he wasn't. I don't, because no. when you have the president saying he's That's watching right. this trial and he's mm. made... They better come to the right decision. Right. Are you kidding me? Yeah. We have laws in this country... People, you gotta wake up a fin. Don't say I'm the woke generation because yeah, that's no. a whole bunch of crap. Yeah, really. But anyway, you know, I'm still trying to figure out because you you woke, but they they woke. What? Well, it's it's an old term that they've used for a long yeah. time, but know. you know, it's just ridiculous. Enough's mm. enough. People, we're yeah. all people. We're all in this together. We all come in the same way. We well, all go out the same way. We just make. The but I am really thing. excited because it was seventy to three degrees day and thanks Lana because I didn't get yeah. to lose my whiteness today because I had oh. to play with you. Yeah. But Christy Parson wants to know if he wears M M&M M briefs. No. <laughs> he doesn't wear briefs. And he don't wear boxers. And he doesn't wear boxers. Oh. And he doesn't oh. wear G strings. Oh. But that would be gross anyways. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Yeah. yeah. But not sexy. Men, trust us. Yep. Men in G-strings really aren't sexy. Well, I, I have to disagree with you. Oh, they're gross looking. Uh, well, it, it depends on who's wearing it. Well, and, and it ain't most uh, of the no. other men that we know. Yeah. Well. <laughs> but there are a few that's yeah. really yeah. looks good. There were good. some that can pull off. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, when they're in their 20s, the and they don't have all that hair yeah. and all that hair out of the Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, nice. we have yeah. to wrap it up. It's 7.30. <laughs> I'm and sorry, I was note. getting hot over here. I had to stop. <laughs> and I better, I better, I better open this up here. Yeah. Because she's hot. <laughs> yeah. Get some. It's getting hot in here. No, it's my MS. It's, it's, I'm uh, sorry, y'all. My MS is yeah. acting up right now because okay. uh, <laughs> it's going to be 49 tomorrow. We have a cold front coming. I know. Oh, no. so I, and it was 73 to, today. I yeah. could have lost a little bit yeah. of my whiteness today. Yeah. Well. <sighs> but hey. I'm red all the time, so in time. <laughs> in time. So. You Indian trader. I know. Oh. But anyways, oh. ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. Oh, we have mm. some news. Hi. Uh, we have some news. Oh, oh we, yeah, we yes. do. We do. We do. Um, we might be on next Tuesday, but we haven't decided. But we oh. are going to start being on Sunday nights. Yes, oh. we're changing well, Sunday to Sunday. Sunday oh. nights, we quite, we're not quite clear, but we're going to change to Sundays. We're kicking the boys off Sunday because we decided oh. we want Sundays. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Does that the witches work? take, well, they're scared. they're scared. They're so scared. Look, look at this, John. Look I'm at Jedi over here. Put him in yeah. the can. I know. Look at him. He's they're been... scared of the M&Ms. They're going to give us, yeah. they're going to, Joe Locke is scared of the M&Ms too. So we're, yeah. we're, we're swapping around things. Yeah. Swapping around. So yeah. Joe Locke, you didn't come in tonight. We missed yeah, he did. You. He was here for a second. Oh, was oh. he? He was here for a moment. Mine is like really strange. I know both of our internets. I'm sorry, y'all, if we didn't catch every one of y'all's comments or if somebody was here and we didn't see y'all. Our 5G yep. is not working worth a shit. Yeah, it's not. It's terrible. It yep. sucks. Infinity Let's 5G see. sucks. Yeah, I think I think 3G works better. 3G, 4G, something, but this oh, 5G. We have to. We gotta wrap it up, ladies. We gotta yeah. Wrap it up. Oh, and gentlemen, and oh, gentlemen, this thank gentleman you, thank you, too. producer. Yep. And thank we you, love you, Lana D. And bye, you, Jedi. Say thank bye, you, bye baby to Jay. everybody. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye bye. Where's your media thing? Say bye bye. Don't trust the. That's right. Oh, don't trust the. Don't. Uh, hey. Don't believe. The. Don't believe try. in America. <laughs> Not, Not the, the media. media. Oh yeah. That's All right. Right. Oh, God. Okay. Night. Say bye bye. Good night. Say bye bye. Night night. My granddad said there's nothing scarier than a pissed off woman with a point to prove. Come on.